Ooh, the rage. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, what's up guys? Ben here. Just want to say welcome. Real quick, today we're playing Darkness Reborn, which is an awesome, awesome game. It is the sequel of uh, Dark Avenger uh, by uh, Gamefield. It has just been released uh, a few days ago, maybe two or three. And uh, I'm going to show you first the girls campaign or the, the character. And then uh, later on, I'll show you the boys. So there, so far, there are two characters that you can pick from. There is a third one. But it is not available yet, and uh, the third one is some sort of demon or something like that. So we are in level 1 uh, with the girl. If you guys want to add me in the game, uh, it's the same Triple Ben uh, Gaming, just like my uh, channel, my YouTube channel's uh, name. So what I can say about the girl compared to the boy is that she is uh, much more faster. She doesn't do uh, more damage or uh, similar damage as the boy, but she's just uh, much more faster uh, and smoother to play with. And oop, done with. I like that that kind of scene that ends each stage once you defeat the, the last enemy. Like it. So Dark Avenger was a huge success, uh, at least on Android, I think about 5 million downloads or something. And um, and this one is just is also pretty smooth, seems like a, a pretty good sequel in my opinion. And we're gonna go ahead and jump right into stage 2. Darkness Reborn is a, an action hack and slash RPG. With some MMORPG elements into it, you can do a PvP player versus player. You can you can uh, do uh, boss raids with other players. You can chat with other players. In the uh, I'm not sure if the, the once you log into the game, there is some, it looks like an open world. I'm not sure if it really is, but uh, you can see other players that just came in like walking around, like you can chat and whatnot. You know, the, the usual stuff of MMORPGs. Um, you know, I'm curious, I wanted to ask you guys, what is your first, or the, what is the first RPG you've ever played? For my part, I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it is definitely one of the earlier Zelda games. On, um, I can't even remember which consoles, but either the, the Nintendo, yeah, I guess it's the Nintendo. You know, the one with the long cartridges. The classic Nintendo console in grey, I believe it was in grey. And uh, here we are facing the first boss in the game. Or some sort of mini boss. And uh, the more you level up, the more skills active and passive you gain. So the active ones are the ones that you can actually just tap on, like you can see. On the bottom right of your screen, you can tap on the skill and it just activates itself right away. And a passive skill is uh, something that just it is activated automatically as soon as you uh, level it up within the, the game's uh, settings. So, for instance, a passive skill may be uh, to regenerate your active skills faster or to increase the damage of your hits etc etc i don't know if i mentioned it but this game is uh, free to play on android and ios of course with some in-app purchases if uh, that's your style but it's definitely packed with uh, with things for free to play players as well as pay to play players campaign is uh, i'll show you later the, the map it looks like a very long campaign and uh, there are bosses to battles, events, I'm pretty sure there will be more and more events coming up by Gameville, the developers of the game. And here we are at the third stage. Uh, this is uh, After this one I'll show you the boy's character. Um, I have him at level 6 I believe. Ah, oops. 
So you see that uh, flashing icon at the bottom, that is the rage. Once you activate it, well, guess what? You are in rage mode for a few seconds and um, you can do more damage, you're faster, etc. And you're also invis invincible, I believe. I'll show you guys in a second. But I like the girl, I mean, she's very quick. And she can damage uh, up more opponents uh, at the same time. The boy is more like um, one opponent at a time, but more damage, more individual damage. Okay, let's go find some opponents to uh, activate that rage on, shall we? Whoa. It's coming. Here it is. Sorry, frogs. Poisonous frogs. Frogs, man. I don't know about frogs. They just keep uh, coming to me into every game I play. About a week ago or something, I made a, a joke about frogs in Summoner's War. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. And uh, we are faced by a lot of enemies. We just leveled up. Rage mode. Let's pick up that goal, shall we? <laughs> I like how the bones are just flying around. Now we are level 4 and I can see we got a 4th uh, or a new skill. I'm gonna try to finish off the last of the remaining enemies with it, but it has 15 seconds yet. So let's wait up. It's coming. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's here. Let's do it. Oh, that guy came in the way. He took the damage instead. Alright, stage cleared. So, uh, these are the first three stages. And uh, let's hop into the map. First of all, I'll show you guys the, the inventory. How you can equip new weapon, new acquired weapons and... Uh, Armors, etc. So here we are. So we got some new equipments. And you can see if I equip those swords, um, we go by our abilities go by 22. And same goes for the, the new armor and the gloves. And I think uh, we're done. And here is the map. We're in the uh, first map, the Arkin Forest. Next one is in the mines, and then the iron castle, and more and more. And right now, I'm gonna show you the boy character. We are, I believe, level 6. If you guys uh, played the game or are about to play, let me know which, which one do you prefer. Whether you prefer the boy or the girl. And here we go! So as you can tell the boy is slower, but uh, he can definitely hit and we just leveled up. He can definitely hit uh, more with more damage power. Ooh, the rage, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Pick up that gold and we're ready to move on. I think after level 5, you kind of unlock all the, the basic skills, which are 4 of them. I'm talking about the active skills that you can see on the bottom right corner, those 4 little icons. And we have our rage mode ready to be activated, but we won't do that just yet. We'll save it for the next enemies. Okay, no gold here. Moving on. 
moving on. When usually when you see uh, the the HP well that you see on the on the top in red, that usually means you're at the last uh, area of the stage, or you're getting close. Let's go pick up that uh, HP mana. So I believe the next one after we cross this bridge is it's gonna be the last area of this stage and we'll face the boss. Rage mode. Let's kick some ass. Uh, I believe that's the boss, the black, black and purple panther. And we, I think we caught some poison in the way. But no worries. Let's uh, evade real quick. That's one of the active skills, the one in the purple. Let's get the coins, because it's a real pain in the ass to get the coins after you kill the boss. You have a very limited time. What the? And that's how it's done. Stage clear. Awesome. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's gonna be it for Darkness Reborn. If you have any questions or suggestions please leave them uh, in the comment section down below or you can also stop by and say hi and uh, you can also check out some of my other videos I have uh, I've played a few RPGs if you're into RPGs check out Dungeon Hunter 4 and if you haven't yet I would love to have you subscribe and join us for uh, more fun and until next time keep playing